It's February 2nd, 2022. I just want to read something to you. May the living God awaken you to all truth and be able to stand in this perilous times. Jesus himself said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest will be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. We're looking at 1 Timothy chapter 6. We're going to start verse 1. I want to read as far as the Lord permits. And he have, he has something to say, he will. Here we go. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine not be blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even... Even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifing of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, evil, surmisings, perverse disputes of men, of corrupt minds, and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness, a form which from from such withdraw thyself, but godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and certain we can carry nothing out, and having food and raiment let us be therefore content, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish, again, fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drawn men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evils which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness, and fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto unto art also called, thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. I'm going to stop there. I know there's more, but I just want to be quiet. Let the Holy Spirit speak. Thank you, Father, for this word. May those that hear my voice understand that there's a call of meekness and quietness and silence of the saints. Because we are called according to his purpose and plan, not for our own glory, but that of the living God. Jesus Christ, the Lord, seek him now. Shalom.